Hey y'all, welcome to Reen's at Wooly Shire Farm. Tootsie's here, begging for, for rub. She's gonna ram the can. Oh, that's your nose, everybody. Appreciate Tootsie's nose. It's very, very elegant. Noteworthy nose. I don't know, is, is that good explanation there? Well, if uh, Tootsie's face was out of the way, you'd see that we've worked down this big round peanut uh, hay bale to, uh, to the steeple, the center part. And oh, there, there you can see just a smidgy of it. So in a day or so, we'll probably take off this, uh, the wire caging, right? That keeps them from just trampling, trampling the whole thing uh, in a day or so and just let them trample it and have a good time and, and find all the rest of the peanuts. So today we're gonna be reading the Stupid Step Out, right? And it's by uh, Harry Allard and the pictures by James Marshall. We, if you recognize those names, we've uh, read some of their books before. I think it's, I think it was Miss Nelson Steps Out. It's got the Miss Nelson character and the Viola Swamp and Tootsie's Nose was also in that video as well. So we hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Oh, okay, all right. She's like, you should just pet me. All right, here I go. You ready? One day, Stanley Q. Stupid had an idea, and that was unusual. So let's see who Stanley Q. Stupid is. There he is. <laughs> oh, you gotta really appreciate the art in here. It's it's a tree. It's obviously a tree to you and me, but they have it labeled as flower. And um, to show you how stupid the stupids really are. But maybe they're not that stupid. I don't know. Calling all stupids, Stanley shouted. So Mrs. Stupid, Buster Stupid, Petunia Stupid, and the Stupid's wonderful dog, Kitty. <laughs> they got a dog named Kitty. The Stupid's wonderful dog, Kitty, all crawled out from under the rug. <laughs> what are they doing under the rug? The Stupid's are stepping out today, said Stanley, and the Stupid's were delighted. So there, oh, I'm trying to show some pictures. All right, here we go. There we go, we got to, we got to see all of that. So there you go, you got Stanley. You got Petunia. Oh, I forgot his name already. Buster, I mean, how could I forgot Buster upside down and uh, Mrs. Stupid right there. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and get ready, said Mrs. Stupid. And the two stupid children climbed onto the banister and up we go, squealed Petunia. And they did not move and they wondered why, because they loaded on the bottom of the banister. <laughs> So clever. Bath time, said Mrs. Stupid. Everyone into the tub, ordered Mr. Stupid. But where's the water, asked Petunia. Don't be stupid, said Stanley. If we fill up the tub, our clothes will get wet. Listen to your father, said Mrs. Stupid. <laughs> Even the dog Kitty is in the bathtub. Everyone's in there having a, a grand old time. Oh, you sniffing my coat? There you go. Mother, said Buster, your new hat is meowing. Of course it is, Buster, said Mrs. Stupid. I'm wearing the cat. <laughs> I'm gonna show you every, every picture. This is <laughs> it's just really funny. Don't forget the stockings I knitted for you, said Mrs. Stupid to her husband. Oh, I have them on, dear, said Mr. Stupid. <laughs> He's got them on his ears. At first, let's stop at Grandfather and Grandmother Stupid's house, said Stanley. They'll be so happy to see us. <laughs> now, if I could teach Hamburger how to drive a car, they've got the dog Kitty driving their car, and they're not even in the car, they're on top of it. <laughs> Who are you, asked Grandfather at the door. Oh, let me just make sure. All right. Who are you, asked Grandfather at the door. I'm your son Stanley, said Mr. Stupid, and this is my wonderful family. <laughs> well, where's Grandmother Stupid, asked Petunia. Where she always is, said her Grandfather. She's in the closet. Hello, children, Grandma sang out through the keyhole. <laughs> How nice of you to come and see me. It was a lovely visit. We must be off now, said Stanley. Come again. We must be off now, said Stanley. Come again, and Grandfather Stupid, <laughs> come again, said Grandfather Stupid at the door, whoever you are. <laughs> Got me in a tongue twister just thinking about Grandmother Stupid in the closet. 
Well, Kitty. Well, Kitty. Remember, Kitty's the dog. While Kitty was parking the car, Stanley Stupid saw something amusing. Look at those funny people in the window, he said to his family. Yes, they are certainly stupid looking. Don't stare at them, children. It's impolite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smears. Dummies. I'm hungry, Petunia Wine. So am I, said her father. How about a delicious mashed potato sundae? Oh, I don't, I mean, I love mashed potatoes, but I don't know if I want them as a sundae. Um, um, exclaimed Buster, smacking his lips. Mashed potatoes and butterscotch syrup. <laughs> oh, I like sweet and salty, but that ain't the sweet and salty I'm looking for. When the stupids had gobbled up the last of their mashed potato sundaes, they went home. Time to get ready for bed, said Mrs. Stupid. The stupids put on their sleeping clothes. Don't we look handsome, said Mr. Stupid. And look at them. <laughs> They're wearing clown outfits. That's their, that's their sleeping, their sleeping clothes. All right, all right. I got a sheep moving in on my territory here. What are you doing, Tootsie? <laughs> when the stupids were all tucked into bed, Mrs. Stupid gave her husband a kiss on the cheek. Thank you for the lovely day, dear, she said. It certainly has been fun. The end. <laughs> and take a look here. They're, they're upside down in bed. The stupid sleep here. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. I'm still chuckling, chuckling about it. There's so many, you gotta look at the book. You gotta look at the art in it because there's so many little jokes in the art. <laughs> well, I'm getting like pushed out of here. I'm, I'm being shoved out of here from old Tootsie. A big old tootsie. Are you even eating? Or are you just pretending to eat? I think she's just making sure she know. I know that this is her spot. This is her her eating hole here. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. I hope you're having fun. Bye, y'all.